All right, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. So today we've got Kids Robotics Fridge Robot 4M uh, manufactured. Uh, we're gonna check this out. The ages, uh, the age says for ages over eight, uh, small parts for children under three, not recommended. Sidekick is four. So I'm gonna help him out with this. He really is into robotics and science experiments and seeing how things work. He has a really curious mind. So we're going to open up the box here and let's see what we got. And, <laughs> and as he did note before, there is a little bit of damage on the side of the box there. I think that was, uh, he helped out with that just a little bit. So otherwise the package arrived just fine. Okay, so this is our latest. Go ahead and open it. There you go. This is our latest purchase from Amazon. This is another review. Sidekick number two is over here running around. So there might be a little bit of background noise. Here, bring it over here where they can see it. There you go. There, I'll get it. First tool you need is probably going to be a knife. Um, I already opened the tape. Okay, he's already opened the tape. So he's going to open the box. All right, we got the box open. Let's uh, spread it out here and see what we got. Okay, here's the uh, contents here. We've got some uh, parts in this package. Uh, a little motor, looks pretty typical of these 4M projects. A, a packaging brace, I guess, so the contents don't get damaged or shift in shipping. And so, we're gonna take a look at the instructions here. It looks, yeah, we've got a, variety of parts here, a couple gears and pins. Definitely gonna need a small Phillips screwdriver. This one requires two AAA batteries. For the best result, always use fresh batteries. So let's get the parts out here and see what we got. All right, I've got three different sized Phillips head screwdrivers here. Hopefully, these screws are pretty tiny. Hopefully, one of these will work. I'm trying to save myself a trip to the garage, so I'm gonna set these aside now. Hopefully, one of those will work in a minute. So, let's get some of this stuff open. Okay, so if you're not a very mechanically inclined person, uh, I would definitely suggest you take the like parts. Most of these parts are actually kind of different. Take the parts and kind of spread them out a little bit for a little bit of organization so you can easily spot what you're looking at. This one comes with a bag full of magnets with double sided 3M tape on the back. So, well, it's not a 3M brand, but that's what it is basically. So let's get it all open here and start assembly. We will grab the instructions. Ta da! And let's start putting it together. Okay, this Phillips screwdriver seems to work. It's got a pretty fine point and it can reach into the uh, screwdriver or the head of the screw. Tidy tidy lefty loosey and it feels like it's doing its job. So this portion of the instructions we're gonna put three screws in these holes to assemble the top piece. So another one goes right there. No way, we have to do that. You'll have to move the book away first. Why? Because they see it? Because they Yeah, and we don't want to distract them. They don't want to see a coloring book, they want to see the robot. Can they see it now? Bzzz. 
up, this is up, this is up, baby, this up. Hey, baby, this up. Okay, this part looks a little tricky. Uh, according to the instructions, you're gonna place the wires, same color each side, uh, through these little braces right there. So the instructions indicate these. So just thread your same color wires through the through the braces. Okay, for this part, we're gonna put the legs into these support clips. They just kind of snap in there. All right, he's got one. Let's go ahead and do that one. See how the this clip just fits into the round hole there. Can I see right. this actually sits on the back? On the wait, wait. Wait, well, no, we can't I'm, do that part yet. Hang on, hang on. The instructions say we gotta do this first. So here. Can I go test? Push this in here. On the, I was going to test it on that. Yeah, what's we good? I was talking about the, this. Okay, well, let me, let's put this in here first, okay? Okay. All right. Can I go it? Hang on. Side. All right, Sidekick wanted to test it out on the fridge, so let's see. All right. Yep, They are. these strips are definitely magnetic. They obviously go on the skids on the robot so they can move, so. Oh, no, I did it there. That's okay. It's still magnetic through the adhesive. All right, so let's take it. It is. Yes, it is. We have to put it on. Okay. Don't put this one. The kids can see it. All right. Okay. Take the first one. Okay. Let me get. You'll peel the back off. I'll peel the white part off. Underneath the white part, it's sticky. I'm going to put it on here. Can you do the part of it? No, do the other. Oh, can I do it now? Can I do it? Okay. okay. Oh, now that part's sticky. It needs to go on here. Try to put it as straight as you can. Okay. That's good. Oh no. It's going to stay on here forever. Next one. I took a little bit. Mm -hmm. so, what are we going to put this one like, up here? Look, can I put it right here? Yep, it's There we go. Okay. Next. What is it? Hang over here. I'll have to take the magnets off. Film it. Ooh, here. Throw it trash. Or, ooh, dirt. I'll put it in trash. Then you put it in trash. When? Perfect. Right, go perfect. Good? Here you go one way. Yes. Take me a minute. I'm gonna fast forward this part anyway. Why? So it goes back quicker. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Oh, those are magnet parts? Yep. Alright, go grab us two AAA batteries out of the door. What? Which ones? You, you know which ones are AAA. Oh. Alright, next is the battery. Again, it's two AAA batteries. We're going to put these in here and get her going. Yeah. You were so hard. You were instructable. Turn around. 
You got it right. Just, right now push it in there. Okay. Don't push any buttons out. Okay. We'll take it over the freezer. Okay, the question was, is what is the orientation? Which way is it up? That's what Sidekick asked me. I'm not quite certain Yay. how it's supposed to go. But we've got it on the fridge. Turn it on? All right, let's turn it on and see what it does. Oh. Hmm. Why we All right, not, here is our why we don't maiden need a voyage. Flash why we don't need a flash? The flash was on the camera. We don't need it though. We have light in here, so it should be fine. What is it? All right, go ahead and put it on the fridge. Okay. And flip the switch. What? Why is it still doing that? But the gears are not making good contact. Lovely. So. Squeeze the front of it. Alright, so we've had two malfunctions here. The first was just a buzzing noise. The gears inside here were not making good contact. I did not have these screws tightened all the way down, so make sure that you tighten them hand tight until you can't tighten them anymore. You push the button and the legs move. The other thing and this was my fault because I told him to do this. The magnets, there's only two magnets, one each on the legs or the skids, and one goes in this centerpiece. Always read your instructions. And that's not his fault, that's where I told him to put them. So I'm going to adjust them. And we will try this again. Maiden voyage, here we go. Magnets work, there it goes. Here's our maiden voyage. We flip the switch on, we adjust the magnets so the way the robot works is the legs push it up and then the body pushes it up. Oh. Be sure if... I'm gonna go on the floor too. What? Be sure that you catch it before it hits the edge of the fridge. It's actually advertised to be able to climb up like a stack of books if you staggered it like a like steps. So we may try that later. All right, we're gonna to try to have a race across the floor. We've got the uh, tin can robot that we previously assembled versus the fridge robot. So we've got a dump truck set up right here. It's maybe three and a half feet, four feet, so. All right, let's try it again. Go. Well, they're actually almost moving just as fast. No, wait a minute, you're cheating. No, you can't help the one. Oh, the tin can robot won, yay! No. Just to show the point, it does go back down the other way despite gravity and any other forces against it. I would definitely call this a successful project. The boys are very pleased with it. It turned out pretty easy and it wasn't that many parts. It was not nearly as complicated as the tin can robot. How much was it?